Hey guys, what's going on? It's on here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today it's that time of year again where we go back through the top five Raspberry Pi projects that I have done. So let's get started. To start off the top of the list, uh, my favorite project would be my car pewter, which is um, in-car entertainment system built on the Raspberry Pi in my WRX. This has been uh, one of the bigger projects I've done where I had to 3D print everything, put everything together, buy uh, amp, wire everything into the car. But the entertainment system that I am using or the software that I am using has been great. I get Android Auto wirelessly. Uh, I do also get gauges and everything. And it's been working great through 140 degree Fahrenheit heat and as well as some cold days of 30 degrees Fahrenheit here. So, so far it's been good. There are some minor adjustments I do want to do to it, which will be a video in the future. Um, some mods that I want to make to it, some adjustments that I want to change, especially on the mic side. But otherwise, that is my number one Raspberry Pi favorite project of this year. Now, my second one is this little Raspberry Pi Zero uh, USB over Wi-Fi. I'll leave a link on the top left for everything I have done and also link down in the description below. Now, last year I reviewed the same project, but it's on a Raspberry Pi where you would connect over Ethernet. Then I took that assembly, put it onto a little tiny Raspberry Pi Zero like this, and this has been a very useful tool. I could just plug this up anywhere, stick a webcam on, stick my steering wheel on here, joystick, whatever, and whatever device I have plugged in, that becomes wireless and my computer could detect it. So yeah, this is very useful. Next up, we have uh, this. This is the Raspberry Pi router. Uh, this is a full CM4 with the daughter board inside where it turns your Raspberry Pi or the Compute Module 4 into a full-fledged router. Not only does it have a lot of horsepower built into this guy, you're able to support up to 16,000 connections compared to your regular home for wireless or router setup that you only could support up to maybe 1,000 to 2,000 connections before it breaks apart or implodes. This thing could do up to 16,000 connections, full configurations, and supports Docker. Uh, I've been using this as for my house right now, and just by pulling this off, this is still hot, but just by pulling this off for this video, my entire house has no internet right now. Next up, this is not sort of like a build, but more of a software thing, which is my Pi Hosted series, where we turned our Raspberry Pi into a full-fledged self-hosted server, installing now I think upwards of 18 to 20 Dockers there and each one individually running its own process of services. So follow along for that series. I'll leave a playlist for that. And that's been a really great project. We've been installing tons of stuff like uh, torrenting, VPNs, uh, NAS, uh, Nextcloud. I don't know. There's just a bunch of stuff that we've been throwing onto that guy. And we're still throwing in more as we go. So if you're not up to date with that project, uh, like I said, I'll leave a link on the top left for you guys. Uh, next up is another software that we reviewed over this channel this year is ESXi. I don't have a Raspberry Pi to show you, so I'll just hold this up like that. But ESXi is a virtual environment operating system that you normally would install into production machines like big servers. But now you could actually install a local copy of that into a Raspberry Pi and use it just like you would and install VMs. While this is still an ARM device, there's only a limited amount of VMs that you can install like Linux. Now you could kind of install Windows 10 and a couple of other stuff on there. But mainly I'm not there to do the VMs because Raspberry Pi is not nearly strong enough to run more than one or two hosts, but it is to actually run the software and learn the EXXI environment. If you have one or two Raspberry Pis, you could actually you can daisy chain the EXXIs together, learn how to do that, learn how to uh, move one VM to another thing. So more of a learning experience on using EXXI than really actually using it for VM. That's in my experience of installing EXXI on the Raspberry Pi. Last but not least, I will mention it this year again, which is the Pi KVM. The Pi KVM is for you to have local access to any computer or server. So basically directing this Raspberry Pi to a computer, you will gain keyboard, video, and mouse to that device. So you could configure the BIOS or install operating systems and everything. The latest thing that they have done is actually change the encoder from using MJPEG to H.264 which makes the performance a lot better and you get higher frame rates. That's the latest thing that they have done. Not only that, they have also started a Kickstarter and that thing just blew it out of the water on how much 
funding they got to build their devices. So if you weren't able to get your hands on this machine last year, you will definitely be able to get it next year because I think they are starting to push out them on February or March. But don't quote me on that. Join their Discord, which I'll leave a link down in the description below so you get more details. But that has so far been two years in a row, my top favorite. Uh, I created not only uh, Pi KVM on the Raspberry Pi 4, but I have also created one for the Raspberry Pi Zero. And this is the, the first, not, this is not version two, this is version one. And I use this a lot as well as the Raspberry Pi 4 because this is more portable. Anyway, that is it for my top five Raspberry Pi projects for the year. I will leave all the links down in the description below to every video that I talked about or everything that we talked about. And if you have any questions about this, leave it down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.